getting confirmation the snares have been opened. Uh, the Cygnus vehicle was released at 8.10 a.m. Central Time, uh, 9.10 Eastern, uh, while the International Space Station flew 250 miles over the South Atlantic Ocean. And the arm is now backing away. view of the Cygnus cargo vehicle from the International Space Station, specifically from the cupola window. The arm is four and a half meters away, a good view of Cygnus. Nominal departure burn of the Cygnus vehicle from the International Space Station. Okay, Cygnus departure burn is in progress. Continue to monitor departure steps two and three in one decimal six zero two. Copy steps two and three, one decimal six zero two. Good readback. Antigo and Vigo are no longer visible, burn is complete. Uh, the Cygnus cargo craft continues to float away from the International Space Station. A great view of the Earth there. Again, this is the seventh orbital ATK resupply mission, which delivered more than 7,600 pounds of cargo, including dozens of science experiments. performance is also a testament to the team that supported it throughout the mission. Every detail, from the flawless system operations to the perfectly labeled straps, to a well-orchestrated symphony of cargo and science logistics. We can't say enough about the team we have the privilege to represent here on orbit and want to send our best wishes on the final phase of its mission. Godspeed and fair winds, SS John Glenn. It has been an honor.